Three great news trends coming out of the UK today and one super fun story that just really is the icing on the cake. Uh, first up is that news consumption has fallen by about a quarter in the last six years. So news being pumped out from mainstream media, or as I would call it, propaganda is now being actively avoided and in fact it's not being consumed at all by 18 to 24 year olds who prefer to get any of their news from TikTok or Instagram. They are not engaging with Facebook or Twitter as much either because it's just too much of a festering arsehole of a place. But in terms of the trend, it means that the mainstream propaganda has no longer got anywhere to go. And the particular item that is called out is people actively avoiding certain stories. So a third of those who do engage with the propaganda coming out of mainstream will actively uh, try to dis engage with stories such as Ukraine. And it says, if you look at the Reuters Institute, uh, their kind of study, it says that people are actively disengaging in order to protect their mental health. I would argue people are actively disengaging because they know it's propaganda because it's being foisted on them every day, when in fact people would have lost interest in this manufactured conflict a very long time ago if the press weren't partly responsible for perpetuating it. The second glorious trend is that there is a massive slump in EV sales, electric vehicle sales. sales. There's snails. Uh, there's a slump all over the place. Germany, uh, uh, in China as well, here in the UK. And what's happening is that all of the incentives to buy an electric car, so taxpayers' cash, your cash, being used to help idiots buy their electric vehicles, those incentives are now being withdrawn. And as a result, the market has slumped. Equally, at the same time, people are recognising, you know, EVs aren't the kind of panacea for everything that they thought they were. Clearly, the batteries are problematic. No one really understands about the battery life. If you take the car as a whole, it is not environmentally friendly to fabricate some kind of fast fashion car that people replace every three years. Rowan Atkinson has been calling this out. Uh, EV has slumped. You can't hear about it because you're not allowed to, because the idea is that energy, electricity uh, uh, cars are the future, but the market has slumped and the people pushing these things are desperate for more incentives to try and get you, the taxpayer, to pay for the psycho woke brigade to get a new Tesla. But frankly, people aren't that interested. They see that this is not the way forward. This is not the answer. Top Gear and the lads called this out about 10 years ago, that hydrogen will eventually be the answer. Um, and the lithium markets that support EV obviously have also slumped because they are seeing what the trends are unfolding in the marketplace. Again, you have to try and find this story because no one wants to talk of it because it goes against what's being foisted on us by the World Economic Forum. Forum and others. Another great trend that's very interesting and is being largely hidden is that nobody really wants smart meters either. So there was a goal for 80% of homes in the UK to have smart meters by 2020. <laughs> That had to get pushed back to 2024 because it was nowhere near being achieved back in 2020. And now that goalpost is being oh, moved again to 2025. Just keep moving the goalpost, guys. I mean, after all, we knew we were being locked down for three weeks and that turned into, oh, three years. So clearly you could just move the goalpost wherever you like and hope that people don't notice. But we have noticed. You said 80% by 2020. You haven't got any anywhere near that figure. The figure that's being touted is that they're at 53%. And I believe that will be a lie uh, because they clearly would have wanted a figure that was over half and they've manufactured that. I think if you were to interrogate the actual number of smart, meter, smart meters in actual homes, you would find actually that it's less than 53%. But they're nowhere near making their target. And now they're saying that we've taken all the low hanging fruit. So the compliant idiots who buy into to this whole wokery and greenness and the green agenda and that think they're better than everyone else. Felicity, recycling tea bags into Tampax because she's such a good person. 
them with her electric vehicle. They've got two Teslas, so they're obviously saving the planet. Uh, those people who bought into this crap and wanted a smart meter, fine. But good, decent, ordinary people with a 20-year-old Volvo out front uh, aren't interested in the big brother entering their homes. So that target won't be met either. Three trends that show you where the heart of this country is really at. And let me end with this because it's a classic. You know how when it's really, really windy in the UK, uh, we can't have um, wind farms working because it's too windy? Yeah, it's really genius and, and it's complicated to explain, but essentially uh, green stuff doesn't work. Well, guess what happened on the hottest day of the year so far here in the UK? It was maybe around 30 degrees, a temperature that I like to call just about bearably warm enough. Uh, 30 degrees, hottest day of the year, as well as alert, amber alert, yellow warning, red warning, Armageddon is coming. Uh, guess what happened? We couldn't use solar panels in the UK. So on the day where there was sunshine everywhere for the first time in living memory in the UK, we couldn't use solar panels because it was too sunny. That's right. Yes, there is a special kind of silicon in solar panels that doesn't like it when it gets too sunny or too hot. And guess what they had to do in order to compensate and make up for the deficit? Boom! That's right. They had to boom, charge up two coal fire power stations to make up the deficit. So we say to all those great people working in the coal-fired power stations, God bless your sooty asses, And to all of the eco-warriors or just stop oil, I guess, my darlings, you better go and glue some more of your nipples to the pavement somewhere or something because it turns out solar panels don't work in the sunshine after all. And that's it. Three trends and a good news story coming out of Great Britain.